Whoa, sometimes I got a feeling. Uh, let me talk about that feeling. By the way, welcome to a brand new video. My name is Filippo. Today we talk about, I might say, the flavored shot or better shot that haven't too many lights or too many colors in the shot itself and that have just been shot with natural light. So there are some types of shots that are just made in a, I might say, simplified way with not too many lights around and then aren't asking much in terms of look as they are made. What I'm talking about is all those clips that are being shot like without uh, extra lights, without a specific cinematography and specific emitter put around. And these are those types of clips that you can take and just give it your own interpretation. You will have everything clearer when I'll be jumping inside of Intersolve in seconds from now and you'll see how in this specific situation you can just give your personal interpretation from what you got there. But by the way, let me talk deeply about that inside of Intersolve. Disclaimer, this is mainly a thing made and a way of thinking for filmmakers, for people that can't afford a DP or can't afford a crew for a specific shooting and for the ones that just want to create it. I might say it quickly, it's not a good word in the colorist word, but yeah, for the ones that want to understand where they can push their interpretation a bit further. So let's jump inside of Intersolve. So guys, I just decided to take these clips from our grid and for each of this clip, I just made one singular character with a color space transform. So really, really simple. And before we dive into this, I just want to talk about these clips themselves. So when you receive a really simple clip, and when I say simple, I say in terms of cinematography, everything that it's um, been shot in a natural way, how do you approach to this? When you're like, what kind of you know, emitters they use, they use the emitters, what kind of flavor that we got there. So there are, in my opinion, few steps to follow in order to make um, pretty cool uh, for your clients and pretty, uh, you know, decent post-production to the clip. So as always, what you are seeing on the image is actually what it's intended to be. 99% of the time, or better, some of the time, some clips might be shot in a really flattered, no look way because you got to tweak things around in post and just create something really, really different. But mainly, when you receive a specific shot 90% of the time and your client is saying, I need a colorist, I need to balance things around, you just have to move a few things and you're done. 99% of the time, you have to stick to three main rules. First one is balance or white balance. So you just have to check your clips, transcode it, and watch if everything is as it is to be. Uh, second is exposure. Everything should be exposed in an intended way. And the third one is the overall balance. So is everything uh, really fit the frame in the right way or if you just have to make a few windows around to enhance things, maybe a face, maybe a dress, maybe a specific colorist that need to um, be more present than other clips. So what I did here for this clip, let me just start from this simple one, is just taking a uh, color space transform and transform, transform my color space. Nothing more than that. And I'll keep the to the end because I want to, you know, have everything managed uh, inside it. And so prior to this, I'll be creating two more nodes. And what we can do here. So just by analyzing this image, I want to maybe gain it down a bit. And actually, I might say that yeah, we can clean up those dark areas from those blues. So I might, let me check it by the way. We might see where this is right there. Not too much. Maybe with the shadow will be better fit. Okay. 
and then on the second one I might want to work with secondary so I might want to go on universe set and crank a bit down those blues here and yeah actually I'm gonna crank up a bit those green and cyans that are there just a touch and in the same node I will be a mess in this one by the way but because I won't be organizing nodes in a specific way but I want to let you understand that's what I'll be doing I want to crank up the pivot a lot and play a bit with the contrast the overall contrast and by doing this into this one I'm kind of creating a natural vignette okay so by doing those things in the proper way I should be done another corrector does make copy and paste there I will be uh, eliminating maybe a your side yeah so here will be about making a contrast and this will be about secondaries this will be about primaries okay so in this specific way let me cancel this contrast here in this specific way we've just balanced our image in a really simple way and 99% of the time what the client might be asking to you from the transformation of the old image will be this okay so just letting the image speak itself as it is intended to be okay also what I'm seeing here is this weird pink boat that I didn't notice I want to crank this down a bit for sure and actually what you want to do also actually it's read on, on these reds, I might say. Let me see. No, it's not there. These are these buildings. These are right there. Okay. So, by the way, also from those um, fix, another thing that you might want to do is to um, propose yourself with a custom look. Okay, so because everything that you got there, it's really natural. You might want to do something from, you know, your home view. So you might say, okay, so let's just keep those three here really organized. Okay, so I just want to be known that those three will be like, okay, for my, you know, my, my kind of transformation of the old image okay and the fix up and then we'll want to create a look the look might be one corrector might be 35 corrector if you need them so you just stick what what you are looking for inside it for the look I normally go with three pal might be one might be three might be two so I really stick with three pals depending on the shot I divide this from the gain area the upper area to the darker area it depends on the shot but by the way for something like this i just want to make it a bit warmer on the upper side with the gain and i want to exaggerate it cancel some of this with the gamma just a touch of this and actually go Bit, bit up on the orange okay and then on the dark area I'll make a few tweaks around but I kind of like it is this I actually for a shot like this I will have even touch the look you know it's good it's okay you might you know cancel a bit of that coldness that we got that we had or if you are one that likes to exaggerate things around you can just exaggerate the look and just make a few parts around but not like this and just making everything super 
natural. And I might say that I want to also create a mask here in the middle and just crank down a bit the gamma here. Not too much. Just a touch and the gain. And I will make a mask here. You can be, it can be a garbage mask or just natural like this and key that down a bit. And that might be my propose. So I will be proposing this one. I'll be saying, okay, that's the naturalized, that's the look. But again, 99% of the time, it will be like normalize my image and give it your own interpretation based on the storytelling that you got, based on whatever we are, we're looking for. Okay. And we got another shot, by the way. Same exact thing, converting it, fixing it. I haven't touched the offset because I was more like that there was a lack of file lights here. So I gained that up a bit. Don't even want to push the contrast too much here. Just a touch. I'm playing a bit with the pivot. And about the look side, same exact thing. What do you want to do here? You want to cold everything up, you want to warm everything up. You have to read your image, whatever you have, and go in a specific direction. You know, as I move my wheel, I can see thousands of looks here. Thousands of looks, literally. Okay, for sure, he wears the jacket, the coat, so everything might be holding up. Again, same exact situation, so moving just a bit the wheel. Cancel this and same thing here. I want to save a bit of the skin tones here. A few tweaks, a bit of a contrast. Maybe let me do this by hand. That's the touch, simple touch. It's not even supposed to be uh, like overdoing things. Too many th tweaks, too many things. It might be like moving two things, just a touch and having the result like there. We cooled everything down, you know, in a matter of seconds. By the way, we could have also cleaned that up a bit on the white bond side. And yeah, you got it, by the way, with the whole you know, look side, you can just tweak a few things and have it. So what's the sense of the old video? The old video is about, you know, knowing where to go when you just reveal a scene that is being shot in a natural way. And what you should base your mind is that you have to, you know, base your mind with the fact that an, a, sh a shot that has been shot in a natural way should have been covered probably to everything else in a natural way. So you just have to work it and let it speak as it is. Okay. So that will be the first thing. And I might say that also with a conversion might count windows. So if you just have to fix areas, you just have to convert, fix areas and don't overdo things around. Then after this, you can give it your own interpretation. And with interpretation, it comes to look. Okay, but that's the kind of second part. Okay, because clients that actually do this for a reason, for work, they just want it as it is. And they just don't want to waste time receiving random looks around. You want to know why they've done this, where you have to go, what's your direction. And if you don't feel they got a flavor in terms of cinematography, interpret it and give it a flavor. Okay. As you can see, when you got a properly balanced shot without extra lights around, everything might be also easier to manage in terms of look. You just have to keep in mind that 
if it's it's made in a natural way, maybe it should look natural. So you just want to create fancy look around, random looks around. But sometimes maybe it's like, yeah, that was a kind of situation in the day where we actually wanted more more golden or maybe more more warmer or colder okay so just give your own interpretation based on what they want what your client want and just don't mess things around in a fancy way because you you have to because you don't have to okay stick with that in mind